Hi everyone, it's Nami Kanaiga from GospelThroughArts.com. Hope you're all keeping well. It's a beautiful Monday. Happy Monday to you all. It's another work week that God has given, a job that you God has given you and I to work in. It is a blessing to have a job. It is a blessing to have a career. It is a blessing to be busy and not to be a con um, not do anything. Uh, so yesterday it was amazing. Uh, we had a beautiful Sunday service and uh, the children, um, we had a lesson that uh, I taught uh, the children and it was about um, in Proverbs, the book of Proverbs where King Solomon uh, instructs what God says of a man who is lazy, a sluggard, uh, a sloth, uh, someone who is very lazy and complacent. And the book of Proverbs, I think chapter 26, there was a lot of sayings where even the lazy man doesn't want to have the prepared food, just too lazy to eat it. Or a lazy man is always looking ways to sleep, always looking ways to rest, always looking ways to slow down. Um, so the book of Proverbs um, where God is giving every one of us instructions and we can see that sometimes even you and I as well, we, we sometimes want to have it easy. We don't want to work hard, we just want to uh, rest as much, much as possible, retire as early as possible. You and I, we are the same. We want to rest and relax and not do only the minimum that is needed but sometimes God wants us to do our best and not to be lazy not to be um, uh, just complacent and just uh, just relax and not be you know, doing the work that God is asking us to do so Psalm 90 verse 16 to 17 it says let your work be shown of to your servants and your glorious power to their children let the favor of the lord our god be upon us and establish the work of your hands upon us yes establish the work of our hands my brother and sister the work of our hands god has given every one of us the ability to work um, we might be a teacher, we might be a banker, we might be an accountant, we might be a, a, a doctor, a nurse, a housewife, whatever that is. Sometimes it's easy to rest too long and not to um, be working hard. So maybe we might be complacent and not uh, do the uh, work at, at our housework that needs to be done. We might postpone it or we might delay it, we might be lazy. And the book of Proverbs, and God is instructing us not to be lazy. Sometimes we all need a break, sometimes we want to take a break, but God is saying, use that hands that I have given for God's glory. You are placed by God in your workplace, in wherever God has put you. May God reward the work of your hands. It says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 23 to 24, Whatever you do, work heartily. As for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother and sister, whatever you do, you might be a housewife, you might be a doctor, you might be a nurse, you might be a accountant or a banker or a teacher or, or just a retired grandma or whatever that work that you are doing do it heartily knowing that the work that you're doing is for god and not for man god will reward you the man will not reward the boss will not reward you but god sees your hard work god will reward you so yesterday for the children when i taught them the class and taught them that uh, do not be a sluggard just like the proverb is telling us um, for the children to grow up learning that working hard is good even though vocations are good and beneficial for our body and mind and soul but we know that after vocation we need to come back and work hard work hard 
to pay our bills, work hard to make a living, work hard for the kingdom of God. That everything we do is contributed to the kingdom of God, to winning souls for the kingdom. That whatever we can offer as a tithe and offering to God is making an impact to the kingdom of God. So just because you pay your bills and you don't see the money work, remind yourself that God sees everything. God will reward you, reward your hard work. You and I, we are set apart for His kingdom. And let's do everything without grumbling. Philippians chapter 2 verse 14 to 16 it says, Do all things without grumbling or disputing, that you may be blameless and innocent, children of God without blemish, in the midst of a crooked and twisted generation among whom you shine as lights in the world, holding fast the word of life, so that in the day of Christ Jesus, <coughs> I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. You and I labor and run not in vain. God sees everything. So do not grumble, do not complain, do not have any disputes among one another. Be blameless and innocent children of God in this crooked and twisted generation. You and I live in a twisted and crooked generation. We might not like the things that our employers do or things that our companies do. We might not be happy with the way they pay us. We might not be happy with the way we get our rewards but do everything without grumbling and complaining because God sees everything you do. He will reward you and He will find us blameless in the day of His coming and He would see that our running and our labor was not in vain. My brother and sister, whatever you do, remember that you are lights in this crooked and dark world. Everything you do, God sees it and He will reward the fruit of your labor. Psalms 128 verse 1 to 2 it says, Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in His steps. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be blessed and it shall be well with you. The worker will be rewarded. The fruit of your labor will be rewarded. You will be blessed. You will live in the land of the living. My brother and sister, let us be hard workers. Let us be working, generously giving our time, our efforts, our energy and do the best we can. Sometimes in my work field that I am in, in auditing, I might not know everything. It is so complicated and it is so hard. It's, but I try to do my best and I try to give the best that I can in my workplace, the best that I can in my home, to my children, to my husband, to my family, the best that I can as a, as a daughter to my parents, best that I can for my siblings as a sister, best that you can do your best as you can to your friends around. Do the best that God has given you the ability to do. May God reward you in everything you do. Your work will not be in vain. God sees everything. My brother and sister, be encouraged today. Keep on running. Do not be that sluggard. Do not be that sloth. Do not wait for a moment to um, um, relax and continue to relax forever. But keep on running, keep on running this race. You will be rewarded, my brother and sister. May God give you the rest that you need. If you are a workaholic, you need that rest. You need to slow down. But if you are a slut or you might feel sometimes you take too much of the break time, God wants to remind you, you are working for God and God will reward you. So. Be faithful in everything you do. Faithful in the little, faithful in the lot. God bless you, my brother and sister. This is what was felt in my heart today to share with you, and I hope this will bless you, no matter what you do today. It's raining today. The morning was good. 
Now it's raining in the afternoon. The plants need it so that we don't have to water the vegetables and plants. I have some beautiful tomatoes growing and green chilies growing. So they all need that water. So I am, I am happy for the rain. Uh, let's pray. Father God, we come to you. Lord, we thank you that you always give us rest. You always reward us for our work. Lord, as Monday comes, as the weeks come, Lord, when we are working hard, help us to remember that you reward us, that our reward comes from you, not from our companies, not from our managers, but from you. Lord, help us to work hard, not to be slothful, not to be uh, lazy, but Lord, work hard in your kingdom, in everything we do, remembering, Lord, that you will reward us, your you will reward the faithful people. So Lord, we surrender our days to you, our bodies to you, our aches and pains to you. Lord, I pray that you will, Lord, touch and heal us, strengthen us. May you be glorified in everything we do. Reward us, Lord, for all the work we do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you, my brother and sister, let me find a worship song to sing to you today. I just had a song in my heart and just went away from my... Uh, I got the goodness of God. I love you, Lord, for your, your mercy never fails me, and all, all my, my days have been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up Until I lay in my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have so, so good With every breath that I am able Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God My brother and sister Will you praise Him today? in your difficult work day, in your hardships, in everything you might face. Remind yourself, encourage your soul, encourage yourself. You are working for the kingdom of God, for his righteousness. God will reward the worker. God will reward you. Trust in him. He is so faithful. If you need the rest today, rest in him. If you need the joy today, Find the joy in the Lord Jesus today. Have yourself a wonderful week. God bless you. And um, this week, I think I will be going downtown on Wednesday and Thursday. So uh, tomorrow I'll be home and I will be doing um, my devotional from home. Because we have a meeting that we usually have. It's been put to Wednesday and Thursday. So... This week is going to be a busy week. I will do all the best I can. And as you too do your best in your workplaces, in your homes, in everywhere you are, may God reward you. May God 
give you the blessings that you need. May your bank account will never be empty. May your needs be met. May God send help to you. May God send you help. Have yourself a wonderful day. God bless you. Bye.